My name is Perfe. I'm 26 years old. And let me tell you something I've learned over the years. Having a dream is not easy. I've been in love with life, then became suicidal. I made hundreds of thousands of dollars only to lose it all. I fell in love, I had my heart broken. I've been an athlete, then became very sick. The past 10 years of my life have been a roller coaster ride of emotions. And today, I'm sharing it all. I used to take piano lessons when I was little. I did that for a few years, but my music dreams really came about when Michael Jackson died. Both the Los Angeles Times and CBS News are both now reporting that Michael Jackson has died. According to the LA Times, Michael Jackson has been pronounced dead. I was 16 then, and I still remember it today. I mean, I was obsessed. I just couldn't believe that even Michael Jackson could die. It wasn't even human to me. And so I went back through all of his albums, shows, interviews. I even signed up <laughs> to a forum called Secrets of Moonwall to learn how to dance like Michael Jackson. Now, as you can see, it was pretty terrible, but at some point, it just came to me. Michael Jackson had the best job on earth. I mean, what? This is exactly what I wanted to do. Shortly after this epiphany, I joined a rock band at school, which was quite fun. And I was standing around about this dream of being Michael Jackson and everything. But all I heard was, you're too old for this. You should have started like when you were four or five. Now you're 16. It's way too late. You live in the middle of nowhere. Nothing happens here. You need actual talent. You don't have that. All of those excuses that brought me down, right? But I decided I would do it anyway. Let's fast forward to two years later. I grew up in a dysfunctional family, and as soon as I hit 18 years old, I decided to get out of my father's house to move to Toulouse, the biggest city I ever lived in yet. This was beautiful to me. Finally, I had some freedom. I could breathe. Oh, this was my bedroom, by the way. Anyway, I moved there to start studying computer engineering. Because you gotta have that degree, right? I couldn't even explain to you how boring this was. <laughs> and after about one month, I said, hell no, nah. I want to be Michael Jackson. I have nothing to do here. So you know what? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. And just like that, I dropped out of school. Now, I had to pay the rent. And since I was never able to keep a job for more than a week, I had to rely on small paid missions to make a living. And so I used to distribute promotional flyers at subway stations. Quick note, by the way, this small job taught me how to handle rejection. <laughs> because let me tell you, there was a lot of no! No! You got the point. There was a lot of no's. Meanwhile, I joined the dancing school because you now know how bad of a dancer I was and I needed to learn how to dance if I was ever going to perform on stage one day. And so this is what happened after one year of training and practice. <laughs> booked my first singing lesson too because I didn't know how to sing either. And I also started learning about music production. I still remember my first beats and it was so lame, y'all. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. it was so bad, but I was making music. I was happy about that. But anyway, 
fast forward about a few months later and I released my first official music production, whatever. Shortly after this, my first cover came out. You should let me love you. Let me be. You can hear how strong my French accent was back then. Everything you want and need. Baby, good love and protection. Then another one. Slowly but surely, I was receiving words of encouragement online and people telling me, yo, continue, you got talent, you can do it, da da da. And I was happy about it, but every day within my own home and <laughs> my own circle of friends, I was told that I was too dumb not to go to school, that I was just lazy, that, um, you know, they, they, they used to call me unemployed and all this when. All I was doing was literally spending nights making music, spending my days dancing and, you know, I, I, I was serious about it and they just didn't see that and so they used to call me all those names and it used to actually bother me a lot because I was like, yo, I work more than you do, bro. You at school, having fun with your friends, I'm over here, I don't have a degree. I'm not studying, there's pressure here, man. Like, if I, if I don't succeed, that's a problem. I invested in my first professional photo shoot, which actually appeared on the local newspaper. And then I decided to move to Paris by myself. Yep, I did that too. <laughs> 